Hello guys, this is a Gor this is Gorax. Uh, today I'm going to run through all these uh, new units from uh, Dungeon Dungeon Faction that have been released today. We'll start with the common ones and move forward to the Black Dragon. So, Troglodyte. Okay, so Troglodyte is a fighter unit from Dungeon. So it comes in nine the number the nine units and it's R position defense and offensive deals extra damage to bleeding units. Okay, so bleeding units. His uh, ult is uh, the triple dive unit deals seventeen thousand damage to its target and stuns them for three seconds. Okay, so it's like a pikeman, really. Okay, then you get passive increase attack by ten percent and attack speed for, by three percent. Okay. Not so good. Increase magic resistance and unit damage reduction by 5% for the troglodyte over the next 10 seconds. The effect doubles every time a hostile hero casts a spell. Okay, so it's good against the casters. Increase troglodyte normal attack damage by 10%. The damage dealt to bleeding targets is increased by 30%. Nothing spectacular, just like pikeman. Okay. Then we go to Harpy. So Harpy is a SR unit, nine members, powerful DPS, suppresses ground units and creates opportunities for allies, allies to attack. Okay, so that's interesting. So Harpy Sharp Crawl. When the Harpy is under attack, she has a chance to deal 150% damage to three units. Okay, so it's like uh, Griffins. And it's a cavalry unit as well. Okay, when facing units that cannot fly, the harpy attack is increased by 30%. So that's like gargoyle. Whenever a hostile hero casts a spell, the harpy decreases the target's hostile units unit damage reduction by four four percent for six seconds up to three stacks. Okay, so as we can see. Dungeon faction units, two of them already are good against caster heroes. Aiming in mid air, Harpy's crit damage is increased by 30%. The Harpy is granted to cause a crit hit on targets. Okay, I think it should be stun targets. Yeah, it should say the harp is going to cause crit hits on stun targets because they got this stun the units that do cause a stun. Okay, so it's good synergy with trouble lights. Okay, then we go with uh, Beholder. So it's an SR unit caster nine. So all of them are squishy. Incredible opener. Weakens enemies at the beginning for an easier victory. Okay, good. Beholder units control one random hostile unit. The target will take damage equal to 1% of its match HP per second for 8 seconds. So that's 8% damage of, match, of uh, max HP. When being controlled, the target unit is unable to attack, move, and cast skills. So that's very similar to mages, although it deals damage. And the unit can't do anything, and mages don't do that. Mages just control the unit. I wonder if it's gonna work on a dragon, Azul Drake, because if it does, then you're doing another max percentage HP uh, damage, and that's what you need for the Azul Drake. So that's interesting, that's something to be checked. When Beholder units enter the battlefield, they will open the four eyes of death. Each eye grants 5% unit damage, so that's 20. Yes. One eye of death will be closed for every target killed. Only three eyes can be closed at most. So basically it grants you 20% at the start and then gradually lowers, which is an interesting mechanic. Okay. At the beginning of a battle, Beholder unit increase the HP of all your units within a large range by 10% throughout the entire battle. Okay, so that's another nice thing. So you got 10% extra HP on all your units. That's an interesting support unit, really. Let's see Medusa. Medusa is a range unit. 
and its four members SR units table petrification control the powerful damage increases as crit hit gets higher okay so the Medusa unit the Medusa unit one random hostile unit okay so again it's missing uh, it should be petrify petrificate so you need damage reduction decrease by 20% cannot attack move or cast the skill so that's another good control unit and also makes your units hit harder which is a really nice dungeon looks really uh interesting a good combos can be done so you get snake venom arrow so that's a passive increase medusa's normal attack damage by 10 percent the damage dealt to bleeding targets increased by 30 percent so that's another unit that benefits on the bleeding spell breaker skin medusa's magic resistance increases by 10 percent whenever a hostile hero cast a spell medusa units damage is increased by 10 percent for 10 seconds but it doesn't stack up okay so it's another thing another unit that uh, has uh, something increased when an enemy hero casts a spell it is a crit hit increased by 150 okay so that's a crit hit increase and increase units damage by two point through the entire battle whenever a crit hit is landing okay so if you got if you have high enough crit hit you can get an extra 20 person damage for all the butter so that's nice as well then we go to mantico so that's another cavalry units okay so we got two cavalry units making a uh, bully quite an interesting hero now so it's an os also support increase allies allies dps and weakens hostile defense so again these units are good to, as a support so paralyzing venom manticore will attack the target unit every 20 seconds okay dealing damage to the target and surrounding enemies with a certain range while decreasing their death but okay so that's in that's very interesting it's a very good skill every 20 seconds the Mantic uh, tactical decision so the Manticore normal attack has a 25 ch chance of decreasing units damage reduction of melee units okay so only melee why okay when fighting against ranger caster units the normal attack has a 25 chance to increase crit of friendly units by 10 okay so that boosts uh, medusa that's nice okay spell breaker okay so that's uh, again uh, something against casters whenever a hostile hero casts a spell the Manticore increases attack by 30% and attack speed by 5 for all friendly melee units for 10. Okay, so that's very nice. So see if you run and Molik with all these uh, charging units, that's going to boost them big. When a target is down, all hostile unit deaths will lose 30% death and be silenced for a couple seconds. Only triggered once through... Okay, so only once. Okay, if it was every time, that would be uh, devastating. Now we go to Minotaurs, which were my favorite units in Heroes 3. One of my favorite units in Heroes 3. So it's a defender, only only one defender, okay, for dungeon faction. And supportive tank, the perfect combination of attack and defense. Bleeding increases allies DPS. Okay, so let's go through it. So it's four units again. Whirlwind, the Minotaur unit deals damage to three random hostile units with a large range and decrease the attack speed. Okay, so you do damage and you reduce attack speed of the units. Advanced Ferocity. Minotaur's attack increased by an extra 400. In normal attacks makes the target bleeding. Okay, so good because all of these units synergize with bleeding. So it is a must for dungeon faction. Increase the Minotaur magic resistance and unit damage reduction by 5 over the next 10 seconds. The effect doubles every time hostile hero casts a spell okay so that's again nice against caster heroes tactical decision when taking unit damage dealt by one of four man units defense will be increased by 10 percent when a nine man unit attacks crit hit will be increased by 200 okay so it's not a bad one and now black dragon okay it's a it's a defender i thought it was gonna be a caster one so that's 
surprising okay so I is the strongest unit from dungeon faction currently the occupier of the top of the hierarchy no spells can hurt him so again a very good faction against Sandra which who is currently a top one hero okay so dragon breath the black dragon deals damage to all hostile units in a very long very large area effect area every 15 seconds while causing additional damage equal to two percent of max hp to nearby nearby units and burning them for six seconds okay so it's a very good ultimate because it deals damage to all hostile units in a very large area so it's an aoe effect and also cost two ma two percent of max hp to nearby units which will be usually tanks as he's a tank so that's a very good thing to get these tanks down okay black dragon scale the black dragon is immune to bleeding and burning when taking a crit hit restores five percent of max hp cooldown is six seconds so every six seconds he can heal himself for five percent of max hp when he takes a crit so that's good against orcs who have a lot of crit and also other units that are, re re are reliable on a crit hit okay magic immunity immune to spell damage done by all heroes simple <laughs> just like in games increase units damage reduction by three person and unit damage by every time dragon breath is cast throughout the entire battle so you can have up to 12 unit damage reduction and one and six percent damage okay increase so that's a nice thing heat resistance black dragon unit damage reduction is increased by 10 person and it definitely is increased by six when fighting against burn units the damage reduction effect doubles when black dragon is fighting against a tower faction unit its unit damage is increased by 50 percent okay so good but they should change the titans the giant uh description now so it does more damage to uh dungeon faction uh, if they want to keep the law going so that's all the units i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you find something interesting please get back to me so i'll be up to date with all the new mechanics and news about the games if you want to keep update with me please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day